good evening welcome back to the fire burns within channel normal services resumed uh power metal review this is my favorite band from the uk literally these days uh apart from the classic stuff of course so iron maiden is probably my favorite band but if you include classic stuff in the modern age uh this is my favorite english power metal band they are called primitai they're from london or the local region anyway all around the london they gig a lot in london back pre-covid times they were always on tours always got headline shows either the underworld or smaller little venues uh, around camden etc all around there i've seen them live numerous times they're awesome this is their sixth studio album, Violence of the Skies. Um, it uh, comes three years after the last album, The Calling. Um, the Calling was an awesome album. It still is an awesome album. But uh, I was really looking forward to uh, Violence in the Skies uh, when I heard that it was coming out. And the lead singles were awesome. It really got the hype going for this album. So I'm gonna do a quick track by track for this uh, album. And then at the end of the uh, album, uh, at the end of my review, I'm gonna put uh, samples of uh, each track so you can have a little quick listen. Um, sometimes I do it after each, uh, after I talk about each one, but I'm gonna put them all at the end so all the music will be at the end and you can sample them all okay the album starts off with stars are my guide uh, this is a great song after the intro we're off on this upbeat galloping melodic metal very catchy great riffs it's got like a brooding midsection it sort of quietens down slows down then you've got an awesome solo this is a killer killer song uh, awesome tune Track two is The Uprising. It was one of the lead singles that was released uh, before the album came out. This is a super catchy song. Killer vocal melodies throughout. Awesome chorus, very anthemic, fist-waving fist chorus. Guitar melody behind the chorus. I just love that guitar melody. It's just a thing of beauty, that guitar melody. I, I loved, I love this song, The Uprising. Track three is the title track, The Violence of the Skies. It's fairly up-tempo again, interesting opening riff, a steady gallop. Uh, the melodies from lead singer Guy Miller are very good, very addictive, very catchy again. Chorus is a little bit more understated in this one and say, than say in the Uprising. It's not as sort of like as anthemic as catchy, if you like. But I like it as just as much. I mean, I don't know. I find Violence of uh, of the Skies a, a song that's just as good as uh, the Uprising. So I, I love that song as well. Track four is Valley of Darkness. Uh, this is the longest track on the uh, album, bar, bar one of the bonus tracks, which is a cover of sorts, but we'll, we'll talk about that. Uh, this song is just, it's just faultless in my opinion. It, it builds from like a brooding guitar melody and you know, the, cor the chorus is also given to, to us straight away. It's like, he sings the chorus melody line, but it's sort of brooding. It's not, it's not like immediately obvious he's singing the chorus, but as we find out, it, it is the chorus. But it, it's so cool. Uh, the, the melodic guitar line before the verses uh, is so cool again. It's just perfect. Um, you know, quite minimalistic, but it's perfect. Uh, then suddenly the song picks up pace. It becomes quite thrashy very enjoyable very uh, cool the chorus comes back uh, there's there's not a moment that I, I don't love about that song i mean it's hard for me to find any fault with that song so big thumbs up for valley of darkness track five is warriors of time uh, this is a thumping pounding tune power packed vocal delivery 
very cool mel melody, cool chorus. Uh, the lead break is very awesome. It's just shreddy mayhem. Guitarists get to cut loose. It's a killer track, Warrior or Warriors of Time. Track six is Innocent. The opening riff of Innocent is very intricate, very sort of like almost progressive metal sounding, but it's sort of very intricate, very technical sounding. It's one of the best riffs on the album. But the song itself is my least favourite on the album. It's it's a good song, but there's nothing really greatly catchy about the vocal melody. Uh, I mean, that, that riff though, the opening riff, which is repeated a bit later on as well, is just, it's a killer riff. I mean, it's almost worth the admission price alone for that song, uh, just to hear that riff. But the song itself is, it's an okay song. It doesn't quite stand out compared to uh, some of the other tunes that precede it and some of the ones that come afterwards. Okay, track seven is Put to the Sword. Again, this was one of the lead singles uh, with, with a video and a solo from Paul Quinn from Saxon. Yeah, I just love this song. This is a pure anthemic song, you know, a fist waving, stand out. You know, this is uh, like a... A call to arms, a fist, a fist waving anthem for the band and the music, and just just a great joy to this song. Um, the pacing of the song has got this sort of running wild feel, which I, I really enjoy. It's got I can't quite remember which running wild song it reminds me of, but the the pacing of the guitar is very very much in uh, the running wild mold mold. So, so uh, very cool and. I should mention Paul Quinn's solo, which is uh, really good as well. I mean, it's a real thing of beauty, that solo. It's quite understated. It's not like shredding, but it's very melodic, very memorable. It's a killer track, full stop killer track. Num track number eight is The Cold Surface of the Moon. Uh, this song is sort of like a Dark Horse song. It, it, it's a nice change of pace. It shows in interesting side to the album it's i wouldn't say it's progressive but i mean the pace is upbeat as usual but i don't know the melodies are a little bit different uh, vocally i mean uh, a little bit sort of i don't know guys delivery is pretty aggressive at times but the chorus is like i don't know it's just got a cool hook about it it's something different about it it's pretty cool the lead break again is very awesome i, I love the lead break on that this song is a real grower. I mean, at first I was a bit iffy on the song. It wasn't really hitting the spot like some of the other songs, but it's really grown on me a lot. Uh, I, I really do enjoy the cold surface of the moon. Okay, track nine is I'll Live Again. It starts off with acoustic guitars. And then a killer, killer riff, you know, just suddenly thunders into view and we're, we're off in, you know, familiar primitive territory. You know, it's typical upbeat, heavy metal style that they, they've perfected, really. Um, guys' vocals are quite raw for the first line. They're quite sort of aggressive, but then they slowly hit build into what, what we've heard before, becoming a little bit more melodic, a little bit higher pitch. Uh, the verses are very good, but the chorus in this song is just very cool. The way when it comes along, it's like a real uplifting uh, feel to it. Very cool song, pure ear candy. The guitar behind it, I mean, the guitar behind it is just very enjoyable. Uh, the melody uh, behind the guitar. I love the pacing of the song. Again, the lead break is just a classic melodic lead break. This is an awesome song. I mean, it's hard to say what's the best song on this album. I, I love uh, I, I'll Live Again. Okay, track 10 is The Storm Kings featuring Tom Draper. I'm not sure who Tom Draper is. Uh, I'm sure the band will know. <laughs> Obviously, they'll know. Maybe he's an ex-member. Uh, Storm Kings is a mid-tempo rocker. It, it reminds me very much of The Cannibal from uh, Rise Again. It's got that similar 
mid-tempo thumping feel it's sort of like quite similar to man of war what man of war does in some of their tracks it's a good song it's not it's not my favorite song by any means but it, it's a solid song maybe it's it will come into its own when it's played live it's got sort of that live uh you know the unison head banging feel to it uh, it's a good solid song okay now we've got the two bonus tracks uh the first one is the huntress uh the first but this bonus track is just absolutely killer i mean i just love the huntress the opening riff is so melodic it bounds out the speakers helter skelter seriously rapid fire gallop i mean it's just a top class melodic riff i love the background whoa whoa uh vocals from guy i think he's doing it behind his own vocals uh, so he's sort of like double tracked with himself the melodies are just awesome from from the uh, vocals in 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 the chorus and the verse uh there's not a moment i don't love about that track i mean the energy the feel the pacing it's just it's just a joy to listen to the production is really sweet as well i mean it's just a killer killer track the huntress and the last track on the album is a bonus track it's called prophecies this one is an odd track it's sort of uh i recognize this track because i've seen this film believe it or not it's uh it's a track called prophecies i didn't know the title but it's from the film kuyanis katsi which is like a uh, stop motion i think film well certain sections of it are uh, stop motion sp sped up film like uh, slowed down and sped up sections it's like a monotonous film about um you know philosophical stuff about life and society and how humans live etc um it doesn't have much lead vocals it's got sort of like chanting vocals the original does and this song does as well but this has like a very cool metallic feel so they've done a very melodic metal version of the song it sounds really cool to me uh you know it's a bit different it's a bit of a curveball they're thrown at the end but it, it's an enjoyable one it, it's something different it's a really cool enjoyable uh end to the album so there we have it this was my song by song review of uh, violence of the skies from primitai local heroes here in london very killer band awesome guys uh, i've seen them live a few times had a few chats with them uh, whilst at gigs not long just a few words here and there uh, very cool guys um, very cool music if you enjoy melodic heavy metal uh, you really need to check Primitai out they're a great band all their recent albums are very good um, Brise Again, Night Brings Insanity, The Calling and now Violence of the Skies they're all awesome check these guys out I'm going to leave you with a medley of samples from each track hope you enjoyed this review and stay tuned for more